Hello everyone, I welcome you all once again to my series of lecture that is Understanding Pharmaceutical Science with Dr. A.J. Hariharan. So today we are going to discuss about the various mathematical calculation we can use to estimate the growth of the bacteria using the growth curve of the bacteria. So in this we particularly interested on understanding about how to calculate the mean generation time and mean growth rate constant of the bacteria because it will be most useful for the industrial microbiologists. First, let us understand about a bacteria. So the bacteria is an unicellular microorganism generally having a size range of about 0.5 to 2 micrometer and it exhibits a typical prokaryotic cell structure. So to study the growth of the bacteria, first we can construct a growth curve of the bacteria. How we can be perform this is simply inoculating a microbial cell into a sterile broth culture and taking the number of viable cell is present at every particular time intervals. So thereby we can plot a graph that is the growth curve of this bacteria by plotting the time of incubation in the x axis against the number of viable cells especially in the form of logarithmic form log number of viable cells in the y axis. So in this we will find a four distinct phases. So one is the lag phase, second is the log phase or exponential phase and third is the stationary phase and finally the fourth one is the death phase. So what actually happens in the lag phase is that once we inoculate a bacteria from different environment into this broth culture, so it prepares itself, it retools its cellular components so that it can start taking the nutrients from its surrounding and start its cell division. Whereas in the exponential phase, we can see a growth in the number of viable cells because the cell will start dividing at an exponential rate. So after that, what happens is that in the stationary phase, the nutrients will start at getting depleted. So the number of cell divided will become equal to the number of cell dead or the bacteria will become metabolically inactive so it can survive not uh, ready for the cell division. So we get a straight line in the number of viable cells so in the stationary phase. So after that what happens is the nutrition will completely deplete and the toxic will start at accumulating. The cells will start at dying so it will lead to the death phase. So in this most of the mathematical calculation is done in the exponential phase to calculate the mean generation time as well as the mean growth rate constant. So let us understand about this mathematics of the growth of the bacteria. So the first one is the mean generation time or otherwise we call as a generation time otherwise it is also called as a doubling time. So where we calculate this generation time or doubling time is it is generally calculated in the exponential phase of the bacterial growth curve. So during the exponential phase what happens is this, this microorganism will be divided at a constant interval of time. That means the population of the microbial cell will get doubled every specific interval of time. This specific interval of time we generally call as a generation time or a doubling time. So this we can little bit understand by this simple illustration. Uh, so this is a hypothetical case. So what we have done is you now we have taken a cultural tip which is carrying a sterile media. In that we are adding a single microorganism. So this bacteria will start at dividing every 20 minutes. So what happened is the generation time is the 20 minutes. So let us start calculation. The number of cells will be present at every particular different time intervals. So this can be calculated using this simple equation. Nt is equal to N0 into 2 to the power N. So where does N0 means the initial population. So in this case I have kept only one cell. So the initial population number will be 1. So nt is the number of cells after a particular time interval. Let us consider my generation time is 20 minutes. So I have calculating every 20 minutes after what happened. So n is the number of generation. That means every single generation the cell gets double. So we have kept the number 2. So nt is equal to n0 into 2 to the power n. So let us start our calculation in this hypothetical case. In the first generation what happens the basic formula nt is equal to n0 into 2 to the power n. So in n0 the initial population is 1, 
n is the number of generation so we are going to study the first generation so number of population after this first generation will be nt for n0 we have put 1 and 2 to the power n is the first generation 1 so nt become 1 into 2 that is the two cells will be present after 20 minutes in this hypothetical case so what happens in the second generation we can use the same formula nt is equal to n0 into 2 to the power n n0 is the initial population that is one cell only so the number of generation is two generation so nt that is after 40 minutes how many cells will be present so 1 into 2 to the power 2 so nt is equal to 1 into 2 1 into 2 to the power 2 so 2 to the power 2 is 2 into 2 4 so 1 into 4 the number of cells present will be 4 so similarly if we calculate for third fourth and fifth generation up to sixth generation so i have come up with here this table so we have keep the time as 0 20 minutes 40 minutes 60 80 100 and 120 because i keep this 20 minutes as a generation time so number of cell division is happening 0 1 2 3 so 2 to the power n that is in the initial there is no generation so we have the same one cell so n0 will be 1 so same thing will be present so we are taking log that i will explain in my next slide so why we are taking the log so the first generations i have shown the two cells will be present in the second generation four so like that it will grow right so by using this calculation we can calculate number of cells so if we plot a graph using this reading that means the number of cells is present so we can plot the graph into two ways so one way we can plot the graph between the time of incubation and we can against the number of viable cells in another way in the table i have shown you that we can plot the graph between the time of incubation and the logarithmic scale so if you see after this sixth generation i have plotted both the graph so you see the time of incubation against the number of viable cells this is in pink color i will get a parabolic curve so in mathematically this won't be helpful in calculating the generation time or growth rate constant so we need a linear graph so if we plot a graph using the minute of incubation in a logarithmic cell in a semi log paper so we will get a linear scale so based on this we can calculate the different generation time so generally the growth curve in the exponential phase is plotted as near semi log paper so now let's start calculating how we can calculate the generation time so nt is equal to n0 into 2 to the power n which is the basic formula n0 is the initial population nt is the population at time t and n is the number of generation at time t so what i am doing is i am taking logarithm to the base 10 on both the sides so we have got log nt equal to log n0 plus log 2 to the power n so the power n becomes substituted n here so what happened is that i can rearrange it so i we can take this log n0 into this left hand side so this plus sign will become a minus sign and this log 2 we can take it at the down so what the formula we get is n will be here so log n0 has got log nt minus log n0 so this log 2 will come here so n number of generation n is equal to log nt minus log n0 by 0 0.301 so based on this we can calculate the mean generation time and the mean growth rate constant so first we understand about mean growth rate constant so mean growth rate constant means in the exponential phase what is the rate of growth per unit time that is called as mean growth rate constant that is i have taken a per unit time t so the value the mean growth rate becomes k is equal to n by t so the equation becomes n we can substitute it that is for n we have substitute log nt minus log n0 divided by log 2 that is 0 0.301 so t is the so mean growth rate constant k becomes this one log nt minus log n0 by 0 0.301 t so this is generally expressed in terms of hours so the mean growth rate is generally expressed number of generation per hour that is number of generation per unit time in this per unit time is the per hour basis we can calculate it so this will help you to calculate the generation time that is otherwise called as mean generation time 
so mean generation time is nothing but the time taken for the population exactly to become double in its size so it is also called as mean doubling time or generation time it is denoted as g so let us consider the time t is equal to g that means the time taken exactly to get doubled of its initial population so number of cells and we can calculate this mathematically nt is the number of cells exactly after that double of its initial population that is n0 so nt is equal to happens to n0 so this we can put into this uh, mean rate constant so let's consider that i am substituting this nt equal to 2 n0 in the mean growth rate that is k value so k is equal to n by t is equal to log nt minus log n0 by 0 0.301 t so i am substituting this nt with 2 n0 so what happened is that so k becomes log 2 n0 minus log n0 by 0 0.301 g so this is multiplication so we can separate it log 2 plus log n0 minus log n0 by 0 0.301 g so this plus log n0 and the minus n log n0 can get cancelled and log 2 and this point 0, 0.3 0, 1 is nothing but it's a log 2 both the things we can get cancelled so the mean growth rate is nothing but it is inversely proportional to the mean generation time k is equal to 1 by g so from k is equal to 1 by g i can calculate that g is equal to 1 by k so if we calculate mean growth rate we can vice versa can get the mean generation time if we get mean generation time we can vice versa calculate the mean growth rate right so this we can calculate in two ways the mean generation time we can calculate using a curve or we can using an equation let us consider the first step calculation using the curve so in this method we can directly calculate the mean generation time by drawing an exponential graph curve in a semi logarithmic paper using the x axis as a incubation time and y axis as the log of the uh, number of viable cells so in this you can see the time in hours in x axis and the number of cells into 10 to the power 7 in the y axis right so initially if i inoculate a bacteria generally it comes through lag phase then i get a linear line in the exponential phase so i am selecting two points so i am selecting two points which is getting double so 0 0.50 into which is double into 1 0.5 into 2 is 1 so i am interpolating integrating with the x axis so the two points which is getting joined is actually g mean generation time we can calculate directly so the next way we can calculate this using an equation so suppose let us consider i am inoculating a population size of 1000 microorganisms that is 10 to the power 3 cells and after 10 hours i have checked the number of viable cells is 10 to the power 9 so i have now three values the n0 is 10 to the power 3 after 10 hours that is nt n 10 hours is 10 to the power 9 cells based on this first i can calculate the mean growth rate then i can calculate the generation time so i have put the mean growth rate formula k is equal to log nt minus log n0 by 0 0.301 t so log nt is log 10 to the power 9 log n0 is 10 to the power 3 into 10 hours right so what happen is this 9 will come here log 10 10 becomes 1 this 3 will come here log 10 10 becomes 1 so i get the answer 9 minus 3 by so 10 so multiply 3.01 so roughly it comes around 6 by 3 that is 2 generation per hour so the rate constant k is equal to 2 generations per hour so the g is equal to 1 by k so 1 by 2.0 is equal to 0.5 this hour will go up generation will come down so 0.5 hour per generation that is equal to 30 minutes per generation this is how we can calculate using this equation so i think this lecture will might have very helpful for you understanding how to calculate the generation time as well as rate of growth using the graphical as well as the equation methods so thank you very much